All right, so this is the Plumeria flower ball. It's just like the it's just like the passion flower ball except for these locking mechanisms that are shown on the outside of the passion flower ball are actually hidden on the inside. So right there you can see them hidden on the inside. And the petals are just a little bit wider based on where you fold them. So you got a little rounder shape here. And also it's made by two by three paper instead of one by two. So it's a little bit different. I had a lot easier time putting this one together. I didn't use any tape at all. And it stayed together pretty sturdy. So if you want to see how to make it, keep watching. To make the unit for the Plumeria flower ball, you start with a piece of paper that is two by three. Start off by folding it in half the long way. And then you make a cupboard fold. So you fold both of the sides into the center. You want to do a similar fold to the passion flower. You unfold one the right side and then you take this point and fold it so that it meets with this folded this folded line. Make sure that the point the start of the line is perfectly at the top center point. Alright, just like that. Then fold it over like that. So you, what I just did is I folded this back in and then I recreased it so that this top part has has the crease as well. So you can see it goes to that corner. If I fold it down flat, it goes to that corner. All right, then same thing. You take this side and fold it so that it meets up, that the crease juts up against this side here and that this top part lines up with this crease right here. Just like that. Ta-da! And now you want to take this piece and you want to do an inside reverse fold. And then you can take this piece and fold it back on itself. So that's one side and then you do the same thing on the other side. But to make it easier, I just like to fold it in half and here's where this piece is different from the unit of the of the passion flower ball. The, the tabs here are actually going to be hidden on the finished product so they have to be on the inside when you fold it like this. So there you go, fold it like that and then if you, you fill, flip it over you see you still have this this shape here so you just want to match it up like that. So match the fold there and on the other side just match the fold and then you'll have the correct shape. Inside reverse fold on the right hand side. So that's how you make the locking mechanism be on the inside of the flower so that you don't see it on the finished product. Then the last thing for this is we want more of a rounded petal than a pointed petal. So all you have to do is kind of visualize. You can measure it so that it's perfect on each flower, but you just kind of visualize where you want the petals to look, to be, or where you want the side of the petals to be. So see how it's rounded? So you will still have part of this crease showing, which is the other way that this is unlike the passion flower ball. So just like that, fold them in and then just inside reverse them just to get them out of the way. So it's a little bit cleaner. Alright, so you're going to need 30 of these. To make one flower you need five, so I have five units here. I already started assembling most of it, so here I have like 25 units all, all assembled. 
So I'm going to assemble these units into five, and it's just exactly like that one right there, the passion flower ball. Except the tabs are now hidden on the inside. So here's the tab, and on the inside there's the pocket right here. So you put the tab in the pocket, and if you look on the inside, you'll see that you have something to fold over to lock it in. This is the locking mechanism, and you don't even see it from the outside. So it locks it in, and you can't even see how it's held together. So I'll finish up this flower. And to do the last one, you put it in and lock it from the back, just like you've been doing. And then you just put this in, and again, the inside's going to be depressed, and the petals are going to be coming out towards you. Just like that. So then I'll put this one in, so this one's exactly like, if you just keep building around exactly like you did with the passion flower, you're going to end up something like this. So I'll just add this in and then I'll be back. So here's the finished product. So I have a, that yellow flower that we just put in on the, on the top. And, you know, I started with the pink flower there. So I think it looks pretty nice.